हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज विराग फ्रॉम एच के वीके एंड कंपनी एल एलपी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्कीम ऑफ टैक्सेशन ऑफ जीएसटी एंड इनकम टैक्स फ्रॉम द पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ फ्री लांसर हु इज फ्री लांसर फॉर अवर जनरल अंडरस्टैंडिंग फ्री लांसर इज अ सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयड पर्सन हु इज वर्किंग फ्रॉम होम एंड प्रोवाइड ऑनलाइन वेब बेस्ड सर्विसेज to the client in india as well as outside india for example an app developer working from bangalore from home for netflix in usa is a freelancer an accountant providing outsourcing services to the company in uk is a freelancer in short any person who is working on contract basis and there is no employer employee relationship is a freelancer for income tax laws income from freelancing is considered as self employed income that is unlike salary wherein taxes already gets withheld by employer in the form of tds self employed person needs to assess his or her income and make the payment of advance tax and self assessment tax income from freelancing is chargeable to tax under the head of income from business and profession a freelancer also has the option to go under the presumptive taxation scheme or the normal taxation scheme presumptive taxation scheme For Section 44 ADA, books of accounts are not required to be maintained. This is a good relief. For Section 44 AA, if net profit is exceeding 1 lakh 20,000 or total receipt exceeds 10 lakh, then books of accounts are required to be maintained. 50% of total receipt will be considered as taxable income. This is again a good benefit. Without maintaining the record for any actual expenses. 50% of total received will be allowed as deduction deduction for actual expenses will not be allowed now since 50% of total received is already allowed as deduction so no separate deduction for the actual expenses will be allowed tax planning opportunity is not available minimum compliance and professional fees so the scheme is simple you can file return by yourself or by taking the help of an accountant with the minimum fees also you don't need to follow this this scheme for continuous period of 5 year which is applicable under section 44 ad for business this scheme is advisable for total receipt less than 10 lakh so if your income is more than this then you should maintain the books of account and go under the normal scheme of taxation to reduce your tax liability Let's understand the normal return with tax audit under Section 44A B. Books of accounts are compulsorily required to be maintained. Tax audit is required to be done by practicing CA. Deduction for actual expenses are allowed. Let me give you an example. If you are providing your services from home, then you can claim the proportionate home office expenses for area used for office. to the total area of, of home for example rent expenses cleaning expenses electricity expenses utility with respect to car you can claim the auto expenses which includes petrol or gas expenses repair and maintenance expenses car insurance expenses depreciation expenses if you have taken a loan then you can claim interest on loan expenses can claim the advertisement expenses outsourcing expenses hosting and server expenses there is a list of expenses in short any expenses which you have incurred which is necessary for providing of your services are eligible actual profit can be reported as taxable income and even loss can also be claimed tax planning opportunity is available advisable for gross receipt more than 10 lakh gst law for freelancer a registration is required under gst if combined total receipt of services provided in india and outside india exceeds 20 lakh gst rate for services provided in india is 18% whereas services provided outside india are eligible for special exemption scheme for export of services since most of the freelancer are providing services to their foreign clients so let's discuss in brief about 
GST scheme for export of services. GST scheme for export of services. GST rate is 18 percent, but for exporter it is zero rated. Letter of undertaking can be filed for export of services without payment of IGST. If LOT is not filed, then freelancer first needs to make the payment of IGST at 18 percent and then file a claim for refund. GST paid on expenses are eligible for receiving refund of ITC with respect to return filing. If total receipt is not exceeding 1.5 CR, then quarterly GSTR 1 is required, otherwise monthly GSTR 1 is required. Apart from that, monthly GSTR 3B and annual GSTR 9 is required. GST on import of services. This is something new. Earlier, there was no service tax on import of services. But with a view to tax GST on import of services, GST department has issued rules for OIDAR services. Following services have been included online advertising, cloud service provider, ebook, movies, music, software, and other intangible services via telecommunication network or the internet, providing data or information retrievable or otherwise to any person in electronic form through a computer network, digital data storage services, online gaming services. Online supplies of digital content like movies, television shows, music, etc. For the easy reference of the GST scheme for service provider, we have prepared this chart. On the left hand side is the scheme for the import of services, and on the right hand side is the scheme for export of services. On the left hand side, if OIDAR services provided from outside India, to service recipient in India, we need to check it out whether recipient in India is registered under GST or not. If he is registered, then recipient needs to pay GST on reverse charge basis and service provider outside India is not required to register. On the contrary, if recipient in India is not registered with the GST, then service provider outside India is required to compulsorily register without any limit and make the payment of GST. For example, there are huge number of customers in India for Netflix, which is a company in USA. So since the customer are not registered under the GST, so Netflix needs to register in GST and it needs to collect and make the payment. of. On the right hand side, any type of services, not only OIDAR services provided from India to within India or outside India, if turnover exceeds 20 lakh, then registration is required compulsorily within 30 days. Thank you so much friends for giving us your precious time and watching this video. We hope that this video has helped you to understand the taxation scheme for freelancer in India. If you have any question, then kindly post them into the comment section below. Thank you so much.